Welcome back. All right, so another news of the day video for all you fine people on the internet, including what everybody's talking about. So I'm wearing a Hockey Fights Cancer jersey. You will not see those in warm-ups. You will not see military jerseys in warm-ups. You will not see pride jerseys in warm-ups. The NHL's Board of Governors deciding that's it. Uh, there, there will not be uh, any more themed warm-up jerseys. Teams just wear the regular jerseys for warm-ups. And that's the end of it. Now, it doesn't mean that the that the theme nights are gone. The theme nights are still there, all of them. Uh, it just means the warm-up jerseys go by the wayside. So all of the rest of it is still there. And I would imagine that, yes, those jerseys do get auctioned off. In all of those events, right, you have jerseys that get auctioned off. That money, I would think, will... There will be some that gets lost, but I think some of it will get made up for with other items that people sign. I would think you'll have signed pucks, you'll have signed photos, you'll have signed everything. So I would imagine that'll kind of offset it. But there are people saying, great, good, perfect. But all they were was warm-up jerseys for 15 minutes. All of the rest of the stuff is still there. So all of the theme nights are still going to be there. And so I, I would imagine that uh, for people who, weren't, who aren't happy about the theme nights in general, they're still not going to be all that happy. But at any rate, uh, yeah, the specialty jerseys will also still be made and sold in stores. So hopefully that means that at the retail level, some of these that were only made for practice reasons and, you know, were being sell sold for $750 or more, hopefully we see them at a more reasonable rate uh, going forward. And, uh, and I can add a few to, to my collection here and there as well that I've otherwise had to look at and say, yeah, I don't think I'm, I, I can't afford that. So at any rate, uh, for uh, all of the fun jerseys that we've been buying retail-wise, they're still going to be there. I think there's some that are going to get added at a retail level as well, and we shall see. But again, I've seen a lot of people that are upset, but I, I don't think this will negatively impact either messaging or the actual uh, money raised for charity. Because almost all those theme nights are raising money for charity, right? Um, so Calgary, and the reason I'm wearing Calgary, not just because it's a Hockey Fights Cancer jersey, but because Tyler Toffoli, according to Elliot Friedman, has been made available for trade. Um, so I, I'm wondering what Craig Conroy's plan is here. Maybe, maybe there's some other move that's coming out of this as well. Uh, but if Toffoli, uh, I would think there'd be some interest there. I mean, it's not like his contract is ridiculously expensive either. So... We're, we're going to find out what Toffoli's worth, I would think, between now and, and July the 1st. Uh, maybe this is to free up some money so you can sign, you know, Lindholm to a long-term deal. I don't know. Uh, we'll see what Conroy's doing, or maybe he's just putting him out there to see what the marketplace looks like and what they might be able to get back for Toffoli. Uh, the Flames missed the playoffs. This gives Conroy the, the right as the brand-new GM to make whatever changes he sees fit, and uh, it should be an entertaining year for Flames fans from here. Uh, this is an interesting story that's that's kind of a developing story. So Qatar, or Qatar, however you want to pronounce it, of course, they had the, the World Cup of Soccer uh, this past year. And they appear to be, much like Saudi Arabia is as well, buying up some sports entities and now trying to buy their way into the American side of things as well. Uh, the Qatar so so Sovereign, I had no idea what word I was trying to say there, Cotter's Sovereign Wealth Fund is buying 5% of the parent company that owns various teams in the Washington area, including the Capitals. So the Capitals will be partly owned by the Qatari government. So that'll be interesting to see if that if that does go through. I don't see any reason why it won't. It's only 5% of the team and or of, of the company that owns the team. But yeah, we'll see what happens there. Um, again, that's not money that obviously would then end up end, end up affecting the NHL salary cap. I talked about that a couple days ago. That's one of those, hey, there's investments and money. But it could help out the Washington Capitals a little bit, uh, having some some deep-pocketed owners in, in addition to the owners that are already there. So we'll see. Uh, the Chicago Blackhawks announcing a little bit of uh, re-signing news of their own today. Uh, Joey Anderson signs an extension with the team. It's one year. It's a two-way deal. At the NHL level, it's $800,000. At the AHL level, it's four hundred and seventy-five thousand. So that's that's a good downside. Um, with downside contracts, four hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars. That's a good downside if he ends up being in the AHL most or most of or the entire year. But with Chicago, they're still in a rebuild. So your guess is as good as mine on that one. 
Uh, does does Anderson end up playing in the NHL? I, I I don't mind Joey Anderson, honestly, as a depth forward, but he has not had a lot of time in the NHL in recent years. Uh, and this is out there as well. Apparently, Ottawa is the front runner to end up being named as the World Junior uh, Championship host for 2025, uh, which makes a lot of sense. Anytime they hold the World Junior Championships in Canada, uh, those buildings are usually pretty full, and I know they make a lot of money on it, so... Uh, there's a reason why Canada keeps hosting it uh, repeatedly. But Ottawa would be a good host as well. And of course, with the Sens, uh, Michael Landlauer, there's there's discussions about whether or not they're going to build in Le Breton Flats. It looks like the Sens are going to get their building in Le Breton Flats. And everything's going pretty smoothly with the new ownership. We'll see how long that's the case. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. For all your support, I will talk to you again soon.